I just saw this question on a survey that said, would you rather ban sex or violence from TV if you had to ban one? And I was thinking about that, like, what would... Would you even watch anything on TV if there was no violence? Like, what would we have left? Like, the Hallmark Channel and the Lifetime Network or something? Like, what else would there be? I mean, look at how many shows have violence and sex in Like, True Blood has both. Dexter's come crazy violent. Breaking Bad's violent. Game of Thrones is violent. Uh, all these cop shows where people get shot. I was just watching the UFC as I read the question, so there will be no more... Um, a lot of sports you couldn't really have football. I guess you could have football. I don't know, but like, I guess the only things you could really have left is like news shows. People would sit there and talk, or like podcast type conversation kind of shows. Or I guess you'd have comedies. Maybe if it's like violence where nobody actually gets hurt or you know it's fake. But what if like there's so many shows disappeared because there was no more violence or they just got so bad like try to imagine true blood without any violence or sex in it like what else would happen in the show like all these shows would disappear and then the vacuum would be filled by maybe since you have sex still sex shows like hardcore porn would maybe become more mainstream and fill the gap i don't know it's a good question though you know what's funny is like people say like, I think a lot of Christians would probably choose to get rid of the sex, and non-Christians would get rid of the violence. Because a lot of, like, atheists I've heard talk about it say that it's weird that people will blur some sex scene out, or they won't show any sex scenes, but then they'll show somebody getting decapitated and right after it, and they won't blur a thing. Or, like, I heard the Braveheart example of the day where in Braveheart, everybody moons the camera at some point, and they blur their asses, but they won't show, like, all the beheadings and all the fighting and stuff. Which is crazy violent. I saw something the other day that was like, I think it was like a reality TV show or some stupid thing on History or Discovery or something. But the guy was like pissing with his back to the camera. So all you could see was the urine stream and they blurred the urine stream as if that's sexual some way or people don't know what a urine stream looks like because nobody pees. Or <laughs> have ever seen water falling from gravity before. I seen something like even dumber than that blurred out. I can't remember what it was. It might have been like, like a cartoon or something. I mean, there's a lot of crazy hentai anime cartoons that are blurred out, but this was like nothing. Or maybe it was just a picture of a girl with a bra or something on a, on a billboard that was blurred or something. It was something crazy. But uh, I would want to ban violence from reality if you if it was like not TV. You had to ban sex or violence, because you can get your violence from video games. You can't really get sex from video games, not really. Hmm. I mean, technically, there's like some games, but you know, most of the time, I don't know. What do you guys think about? It? Remember back in the old days when YouTube comments actually mattered, and everybody would say, "I want to know what you think," because. I want to get you to comment on my video and make me crazy popular. It doesn't matter now. Nobody cares what you say. People are actually getting in trouble for comments on Twitter and Facebook and YouTube, and people are losing their jobs and stuff. I think it's because all these older, like, 40 to 60-year-old women are on the Internet now, and they're all upset because people are bomb-threatening each other and going crazy, and they don't know that it's all just the Internet and that's how it works because they're just now getting on the scene, and they have so much sway with the public. That's pretty sad. That's all I really wanted to say, though.